Hey Charlie fans, welcome back to another speed build video. Guys, in this one, we're going to be making our custom NPC home for the Steampunker. Now we have been on a little bit of a mechanical themed build anyway, so I thought it'd be a good chance to just kind of try something funky and different, keeping that mechanical theme in mind. So to that end, I have one of the most interesting and probably odd looking builds that I've ever made, and it really fits well for the Steampunker, at least in my opinion. The goal here was not only to make something that looked very distinct, but also something that looked like it could move around on land. Because obviously it's very tempting to go and make a traditional build for the Steampunker, and that's usually going to be some sort of airship. Instead, I wanted something completely opposite and very unique. And speaking of judging things, if you'd like to judge me or any build that I'm making and you want to do so live, do feel free to check out the Twitch link down below because you can catch me there doing, well, these builds live. Additionally, if you're enjoying any of the content here on the channel, guys, do feel free to hit the like, the subscribe, or the uh, little uh, dinner bell thingy so you can know when the next video hits the old YouTube universe. Because it's free, easy to do, and it super helps me out. And I appreciate it. Finally, guys, do stay until the end of this video because I will be covering all of the materials that I used in this build. So if you want to see exactly what's used and try to replicate something or make an exact copy, you'll be able to do so by, well, checking out the materials. Anyways, with all that said, guys, let's get the build, shall we?
All right, folks, with our Steampunker build complete, let's take a closer look at all of the materials like I promised at the beginning of this video. Now, with that said, guys, this is a absolute smorgasbord of different materials, and really the ones that kind of stand out to me that I don't use quite as often are going to kind of fall more on the wall side here. So specifically the pumpkin wall and the magma wall. The magma wall is actually used for the fire on the right side of the build. I also use a little bit of purple rain, which I do use here and there in other builds, and then I also went with some aluminite brick wall, which I I like to throw in here and there in my mechanical builds, but nothing too crazy. Really beyond that though, we use obviously a lot of copper plating and a lot of tin plating, as well as some meteorite brick wall and some platinum brick wall. Now I really like platinum brick wall just to make it look like there's pipe work going on in the background. Um, it's a nice little feature wall in my opinion for mechanical type builds or steampunk builds or even futuristic builds for that matter. And it just looks really good. The other one here is the disc wall, which I don't use very often, but it kind of fit in here in a few places and you'll probably be able to spot it fairly easily or well maybe not because it is actually behind some of the gears and the legs but it's green and you should be able to sort of recognize it pretty quickly now when it comes to the blocks guys there isn't anything too too crazy here we use some silly green balloon and some meteorite brick wall and of course some living fire block but then we also used a lot of cog and platinum brick which uh not to say that i don't use them frequently in my mechanical builds because i do but generally speaking for most of my builds you won't see me use this too often we also used some adamantite beam and copper plating, of course. And then I also went with some yellow team block. Uh, you could use any team block and just paint it. It all looks the same, really. Uh, and then we also used a little bit of boreal beam. Now, perhaps the standout block here for me, even though we use it very sparingly, this is going to be our bubblegum block. I never really use this, but it can look like a half circle, which I think really looks nice in certain spots. But again, this is just sitting in the building like one spot, so we're not going to really touch on it too much. But something I don't use very frequently. Finally, we use some smoke block and some junction boxes along the build to make it look a little bit more well alive. The junction boxes look a little bit more mechanical as well. You can throw those in in different places and they hammer nicely. So this is what I use for the gears as well. And it looks quite nice in my opinion. And when it comes to paints, guys, as you can see, we got gray, we got green and deep green as well as some white. We also have some negative paint, which uh, I'm going to let you guess where that is because it's kind of hopefully easy to tell. Uh, and then we also use some black paint. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for all of the materials. I hope this gives you a bit better insight into what I use to make this build for the Steampunker. Now, in no ways is this something that you need to follow. If you want to replicate this exactly, of course, you'll have to use those blocks. But if you want something a little bit similar, by all means, guys, feel free to use the blocks I have and or swap them out for whatever you like, because that is, of course, the beauty of building in Terraria. But with all that said, guys, let's move on to the rest of the video. All right, guys, so there we go. There is the custom home for the Steampunker done. Now, I gotta say, I think it's a very kind of unique take on this. It actually took me a while to get the design right. And while I really like the way the actual legs of the build came out, I really wish I'd carried up a little bit more of that detail throughout the build. I just feel like the top section, while it looks robust and pretty good, it doesn't feel like it's got all the kind of details that the legs do, but maybe that's just me. And speaking of those legs, they don't look like they'd be really supporting the weight all that well. I probably should have thought about that a little bit more, but overall it kind of gives it a nice goofy look that you wouldn't think and kind of reminds me of like, not bad engineering, but like very suspect engineering that you would see from the Steampunker. The other features I want to highlight are definitely at the front and the back of this build. At the front, we've got that little cockpit area, which I think looks really cool. And at the back, we've got a boiler that's kind of powering this whole thing and really does give you that sort of steampunker vibe because, well, steam. But yeah, let me know what you think of this weird goldfish on legs. I think it's a pretty interesting design, at least personally. But again, that's just my opinion. So do let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What did you like? What would you change? And maybe what you'd like to see me build in a future video. Because as you know, I may very well take that request and run with it. And with that, we're done. So guys, thank you so much for staying until the end of this video. And as always, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. We will see you in the next one.